All right, so tonight, you guys, I want to bring some news to y'all that you probably haven't heard about that is going on around the world. I know a lot of people don't watch the um, beauty pageants anymore, okay? Most people don't watch the beauty pageants anymore. Uh, not, not since I think it was Steve Harvey announced the wrong winner. I think that was the last time I saw even a clip of it. Um, but it became so sexualized that I stopped watching it years ago. But now, now, this blew my mind. Miss Netherlands has been won by a transgender. Okay. So the transgenders are already taking the medals from our Olympic people. They're already taking our awards for strongest women basically uh business wise okay now a transgender has won the miss netherlands beauty pageant and she's now entered in the miss universe pageant she said that um the journey started as a super insecure little boy into her transgenderism and we talked about this before, about how uh, boys that don't fit in with the boys, they don't want to rough house, they don't want to play with um, G.I. Joe's, so forth, they think they're females because that's what the schools and TV and movies are indoctrinating them with. Same thing with little girls. If they don't want to play house or they don't want to play doll or whatever, they don't want to wear makeup or wear dresses, then they're being indoctrinated to believe that, well, then they must be a boy. They must actually be a boy stuck in a, in a woman's body. So this man started off as an insecure little boy. And instead of the family supporting him and being like, you know, you don't have to be macho to be a little boy. You'll grow up, your hormones will kick in, whatever. Um, or it's just okay to not be a manly man. You can, what did they used to be metrosexual? You were still a boy. Even though you liked fashion or you liked looking good or, or whatever, you were still a boy. You didn't have to put makeup on and curl your hair and wear a dress to feel good about yourself. It was, they talk about being inclusive, but how inclusive is it to tell a boy, you're not really a boy if you're not manly, so I need you to be a girl. Just support how they feel and, and let them know it's okay. But she was told that she was a pretty girl, but that she needed to go to, before she won, she needed to go to the trans pageantry, okay? I agree with this. If you are going into a pageant and miss anything, whether it be a country, a state, um, the universe, it is a Miss pageant. And they have Mr., but it's a Miss pageant. It doesn't mean tuck it and then you're a Miss or tape it and you're a Miss. And when anyone who's been in pageants or has children who have been in pageants, these girls all, and I can tell you from experience, guys, I've, I've been in the pageant world before. So I can tell you, the girls get dressed together. The girls, help each other tape themselves up to lift and tuck and hide, okay? They share secrets together with each other. It's, it's, it's an intimacy of girls, a closeness of girls, a bond with girls. So now you have these little girls or adult girls, teen girls, going into these pageants and they're being told they have to change in the dressing room with a man he thinks he's a woman. They have to help tape and tuck this man because he thinks he's a woman. If I ever went into a pageant and I was told I had to do that, I had to help somebody else, no way in hell would I ever help a man tuck and lift and tape anything to go on a pageant against me. I hope his stuff is bulging out of his dress if they allow him in. I hope it's bulging out of his dress and they think it's some kind of weird growth. I hope his voice cracks and everything else. There's no way I'm helping a man try to beat me in a Miss whatever contest. No way. So now because they've won this this um, this Miss Netherlands pageant, now he can go on to compete for Miss Universe. Now here's my whole thought on the Miss Universe pageant. The owner of the Miss Universe pageant just became recently the owner is a transgender himself. 
So if this person goes into the Miss Universe pageant as a transgender, what do you think the chances are that he's going to win? Everything else is already set up for who's going to win, ball games, elections, so forth. Who's to say that he wasn't placed there on purpose to now take this as well? I am going to guess that he is probably going to be our next Miss Universe. Ricky is going to be our next Miss Universe. It's disgusting. I really wish that they would leave everything female to the females. They've already, you've already have organizations out there that have taken the, uh, or tried to take away the masculinity away from men and label them as toxic masculinity. Some men don't want to be men anymore because they don't want to be labeled like that. Now they're taking all these women's achievements and taking them away and giving them to men because they want to put on some lipstick and wear a dress. And it's been in every single aspect all the way around. So what is men and what is women anymore if they're just going to jumble everything up together? What is there left for us to try for for achievements in men and women? What do we have left to to achieve to set a goal for if we can lose to somebody because they want to wear a dress or they want to chop off their hair? And throw on a strap on, you know, it's, it's almost like there's no point. It's almost like they're trying to make us not want to try anymore because we're not going to succeed anymore. And then trans, whatever becomes the norm. Come on guys, cause I'm getting really worked up about this transgender thing. It's really honestly ticking me off. So I have nothing else. I hope that you all have a amazing night. Um, stay aware, stay awake, think for yourselves, know that no matter what, everything is going to be okay. We just have to stick together. All right, you guys, good night. Much love.